Hi, my name is Cece. Welcome to my channel. I'm a reseller on Poshmark. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I have a little bit of a thrift haul to share with you today. Nothing huge. I spent $43 down in Brunswick, Georgia. A lot of people don't know they have a Goodwill outlet down there. I typically find good things there, so it's worth the trip. It's about an hour south of where I am in the Savannah, Georgia area. We have just arrived in Brunswick, Georgia, and I am going to the Brunswick, Georgia Goodwill outlet, which always has good items. So wish me luck and a thrift haul is to follow. This is five minutes in the door. My cart is already full. So it's 9.56. I got here at about 9.08. I already have a cart full of items. So I'm going to go. There's two other shops I'm going to go to and then I'm going to swing back here. But it's been good. Okay, so I'm leaving there. I didn't find much, but you cannot make this stuff up. So I'm originally from Minneapolis, so this has an extra touch for me. I found a raspberry beret, the kind you find in a secondhand store. Okay, no, it's Tuesday. They're closed on Tuesdays. I just, I had another obligation today that got canceled. So I was like, oh great, I'm going to run down to Brunswick. So that's off the table, but that's okay. I just drove up past the shop called the Victorian Place. And I just Googled it and they have um, good reviews. So while they don't have clothes, I think I might be able to find something neat for the house. So I'm going to go ahead and drive on down there. Okay, so I'm just leaving the Victorian place. I was probably there almost an hour. Very interesting. If you're ever in Brunswick, Georgia and you want to check out an awesome shop, stop by the Victorian place. He had some vintage clothing, clothing and he even had some Lily Pulitzer, but the guy he's selling it for has it. It's overpriced for resale purposes. So all that being said, I think I have enough for today. I'm not going to stop back in at the Brunswick Goodwill outlet again. I'm going to go ahead and go home now. So I'm going to show you really quick what I got and it's basically just hats and shoes. So if you like hats, you are in the right place because I actually got a lot of them, a handful of shoes and just a couple clothing items. So I got this straw hat. Um, did I say I spent $43 total on all these things? So it just says 100% straw made in Italy with the bow. People like those. Here is another straw hat. It's really cute. It's like a visor hat so you can wear it like it's the brim is shorter in the back and then it's got the floral ribbon above the brim this is a handbag and it's by Madewell are people still buying Madewell bags if so this is in good condition it's you know black leather with brown short handles and then a cross body strap and the interior is just like brown cloth I need to shake it out a little bit but um yeah I uh, got this pair of boots. I thought they were super chic and cute. They are very vintage. I'm going to show you the tag. So part of the brand name has worn off there. But they're kind of like, they're not quite burgundy. They're not quite cognac. They're somewhere in between the two, but they've got cute brush gold hardware. They're heeled with an almond toe. There is a little bit of wear to the other boot right there but they're otherwise in great vintage shape not a lot of wear well okay check it out that needs to be redone it's missing it's rubber they're both missing that okay well it's okay i can still sell them someone will buy them i think they'll just have to take them to the cobbler but they're they're good and they've got a little bit of a platform they're worth it it'll be fine i picked these up i probably shouldn't have they're just a straw like house sandal you couldn't really wear them outside because they have like a little bit of raised braid in there but the brand is 
Panda America, and they're listed as size large, so I'll just have to measure the footbed on those. These are a pair of Steve Madden peep toe ankle boots in a blue velvet. So, yeah, they're good. I have to clean up the heel. They're like a chunky block heel. That one has a, just a little marking. These were, so this, the brand on this boot is Covington. And they're also a good chunky block heel with a square toe, which is kind of a Y2K vibe. Covington, I thought, was a mature woman's clothing brand. These boots don't strike me that way. But I'm very confident I can sell those boots. They are size, oh, they're 11. Wow, they're a good size. This is just a purple church hat, one of many that you'll see coming. This is so, I don't know if you're familiar with the brand Titleist. I wasn't until a few months ago when I picked up another sweater sort of similar to this. It has a little marking on the elbow, but it's kind of uh, the golf club set. Like it's a preppy golfy thing. They're really cute. The cream one I have for sale in my closet, it's a men's, but I actually wore it for a few months because it was just so flattering and cute. And that one's this. I've worn the sweater a few times, not two months. I don't even think I've had it two months. Same cut. So I've gotten a handful of likes on the other. We'll see. I got this headband. It's, it's just looks, <laughs> it looks silly on me, but it's, um, it's cute. I mean, I might post it for $5 or I might put it as a gift with purchase with something. I've started picking up just little things to gift with purchase if they're cute, but they're not really good enough or they're not going to get enough to sell on their own. This is another purple church hat with a little sort of netting trim, and it's all purple sequin. It's in perfect vintage condition, too. There's nothing wrong with that. This handbag I got, it's unbranded, but it's like a blue velvet. It's styled like a clutch, but it's just a flap over. But the strap does not come off, and it's got velvet trim and then gold rope. So I thought that was cute for someone going out. Um in the winter months. This is another church hat. It's tan felt wool with, uh, is that tulle? That's a thick netting with little rhinestones on it. So this one, I actually sold one like this just last week in red. This is just a simple red brim wool hat with, it's got a little black and gold. Another purple church hat, purple church hat, purple church hat. This is a pair of very nice cashmere pants. So they're size small, unfortunately, but they're like a cropped length and they're Ann Taylor, 100% cashmere. I looked them over really well because I've been learning lately <clears throat> that I, if I just give them a quick glance, I usually miss a hole. But these didn't have a hole, so I want to get those steamed and posted in the next couple of days. Today's the 12th, and this is the 12th was the day I went down there, so... Um, hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of this stuff posted soon. Another church hat. This is cream. I probably, this is just kind of straw woven. I probably shouldn't have picked that up, but this is a pair of Gansko. The pattern on it caught my eye. It's kind of like a stone, a mock stone finish, but they're in good shape except for a little bit of wear right here around the trim. And they are size 37. I don't know off the top of my head what that means in dance co sizing, but these are worn a lot in the nursing field. This is a pair of purple satin shoes. They're heels with a uh, little bow, or excuse me, a flower at their sling back. But it's never too early to start getting ready for spring, so I got those. They're size, I think they're size 10. They're just an off brand. FY boutique so but somebody maybe will be looking for that to match a church dress or an Easter dress this was a nine west vest from their vintage Americana collection it's size extra large and it has a cable knit collar and then it's the chunky knit at the back and the front is sort of a vegan fur so I thought that would be kind of nice for somebody and it's in a good size, size extra large. This was just a whim pickup, a fanny bags or belt bags are back in vogue right now. So this is just like a kitty cat one with gold whiskers and is, you know, zip, just the standard thing. 
with adjustable, but I think that probably is a smaller size, like small or maybe medium. This is a pair of boots. I think that they're vintage. They're BC, no, they're not. They're BCBG, not Max Asria. They're BCBG girls, size nine. Very nice, very cute. They have that thing on the inside where it's starting to do a little bit of peeling. So that kind of sucked. But, and then this one has a little bit of mark. But I just thought because they are that Western styling and they've got that cute gold metallic stitching and they're bronze, which I don't think you see a lot of bronze boots, I did go ahead and pick them up at Ben's pricing. Definitely would not have gotten them at the regular Goodwill. These are Okabee slide-on sandal wedges with a rhinestone embellishment. They're size medium, which is six and a half to seven and a half in Okabee. So I, they definitely need a little bit of cleaning up. <clears throat> but I will do that and get those posted. I have a few more items over here I can't reach. This is a men's linen hat, hat just in a simple kind of taupe. It's nice. It says size large, extra large. Could you... Could you see that? Yeah. It's dent. <laughs> I'm going to have to steam out. It's dented right there. And then I got a pair of men's shoes. One is out of my reach, but the they're both, it's a pair. They're in good condition. The brand is Zanzara, which I thought was a woman's boutique brand. Z-A-N-Z-A-R-A. -A. But they're just a laced up, excuse me, lace up style black leather chukka boot. I think they're a decent size, size 10 and a half. I don't know. So those were in good shape. And then I can't reach the other shoe, but I have one more church hat and that is it. Another purple church hat. This one's cute, it's wool. It's kind of got the fascinator style front. So that is what I got today for $43 at the Georgia Brunswick Goodwill. Let me know what you think below. Do you ever pick up hats? Do you think those shoes are good? Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you all soon. All right, bye.